today we're gonna to take a look at diagonal rib stitch. So a rib stitch is made of columns of knits and pearls. And this one, the knits and pearls are just shifted every couple of rows so that we get this nice diagonal texture. And I'm gonna show you how to do that step by step. So I've got a swatch started here. And you can see the pattern has started to form. Now this is a 12 row repeat. So I've already got 12 rows here. I'm ready to work row one again. So this is just knits and pearls. And my first row is purl three, knit three. So for a purl stitch, I wanna keep my working yarn in front of my right hand needle. And I'm just going to insert the needle from right to left, yarn around the needle, pull the yarn through, slip the stitch off the left hand needle. So I'm doing three purls. Do that again. Inserting the needle from right to left and keeping the working yarn in the front. Now I'm going to knit three stitches so I have to move my working yarn to the back of the work. And to knit, I'm working with my right hand needle, inserting it from left to right into the next stitch, wrapping the yarn around my needle, pulling the stitch through, and slipping the stitch off the left hand needle. Just one knit stitch, two, three. So purl three, knit three. I'm gonna repeat that all the way to the end of the row. Three and knit three. Three and knit three. So that is our first row, which is a right side row. And now I'm going to turn my work to begin row two. And in row two, I'm purling the purl stitches and knitting the knit stitches. So that means I'm going to P3, K3, or purl three, knit three. So my first three stitches are purl. Remember to keep the working yarn in the front for purl stitches and then bring the yarn to back when you're gonna to switch to knit stitches. And I'm gonna bring the yarn to front again and repeat that P3, K3. Pro one, pro two. And I'm just gonna show you, if you have trouble distinguishing between the knits and purls on your needle, just look at the bottom of that loop that's across your left hand needle, this is a purl stitch. It's got a little bar of yarn across it. I like to think of it as a little scarf that's wrapped around the front of your stitch. And then I remember if it's wrapped around the front, I have to bring my yarn to the front of the work to purl. And this one beside it, it's a knit stitch. And you can see it doesn't have that bar across the front. It's like it's wearing a scarf around the back of its neck. So then I remember for a knit stitch, if the scarf is around the back, I have to bring my working yarn to the back of the work. So this next one on my needle is a purl stitch because it's got that wrap around the front. I'm gonna bring my yarn to the front and work my purl stitch. This next one, it's got that scarf wrapped around the back. I'm gonna bring my yarn to the back and knit it. And that way, if you know that you have to knit the knits and purl the purls, you don't have to count each time P3, K3. But either way works. So that's my second row. It's a wrong side row. And in every wrong side row, you're going to be knitting the knits and purling the purls. That's why I mention it, because sometimes it's easier if you just remember, oh, every wrong side row, I just read my knitting and let it tell me what to do rather than knitting the pattern. So now I'm back to the right side and this is row three. 
This is where things change just a little. Instead of a purl three, knit three, I'm gonna do purl two, knit three, purl one. And that little change, every right side row, is what creates our pattern. Slants ever so slightly. So I did purl three, or sorry, purl two, knit three, purl one. Purl two, those are those little scarves in the front. Knit three, scarves in the back, purl one. And you're gonna repeat that to the end of the row. So purl two, knit three, K three, Purl one or P one. One more time. I'm going to, oops, sorry, I'm back to purl, purl two, knit three, purl one. And that's row three. Now I'm going to turn my work for the fourth row. This is a wrong side row. And again, on the wrong side rows, you can either follow your pattern, or if you can tell what your stitches are in your left hand needle, you can just knit the knits and purl the purls. So this is a knit stitch. It's knit one, purl three, And that's my repeat to the end of the row. Knit one, purl three, knit two. And one more repeat, knit one, purl three, and knit two. So this is just knits and purls. That's the only thing you need to know to make this stitch. I am on row five, and I'm going to start that with a purl one. Knit three. and purl two. I'm going to purl one, knit three, and purl two. So the placement of those three knit stitches and three purl stitches that make up the whole pattern shifts by one stitch every second row, every right side row, and that's what gives us our nice diagonal pattern. So if I continued, all, this, all the rows are essentially the same with knits and purls. If I worked every, if I worked my 12 rows, I would shift one stitch over all 12 rows, every second row, and that's what creates this nice column of knits and pearls slanting to the right. So that's it for diagonal rib.